poor Hong Kong got pretty ripped up. Uh, I'm gonna get the horseman to go out and do some exploration. That sounds like a good thing to do. I'm not too worried about my stuff back here. I'm tempted to keep something looking over London. And I think these guys wanted me to get Coco as well, right? Yeah. So they're super loving me. And Antonana Banana Revo had actually wanted Silk. Another ally over here. Double Mercantile. So that's part of the reason we're getting a lot of happy, too. Shoshone Pathfinder. Yeah, this is a bit of a cluster over here, but I guess we're okay. Um, I think I can just pull back with that troop. If we've got the horsemen going and checking things out. Uh, dives to Pocatello has ended. Okay. Alright. Can we get embassies? There you go. Good. What about with the Zulus? We'll repair our relationship a little bit. Excellent. It's nice to see. Workshop done. So we've got four turns until physics. Um, we've got a couple of different options. Lighthouse doesn't really help us in, in TV Daredevil. So let's get the Stoneworks. Plus one production, plus one happy. And a little bit extra production from... Yeah. No, that's going to be perfect. Mr. Eiffel, you're going to stay there. You're going to sit in that city. You're going to... I think you're moving down here. And you're just going to fortify up. You're going to fortify up. You're going to wait there. Ugh! What? No, it's okay. We're just going to chill out over here for now. I'm going to wait to declare war again. Um, Hunting Lodge would be good for growth there, but I think just get the workshop. It'd be great to get the ironworks up sooner rather than later. Oh, yes, I have to rename these cities. Thanks for the reminder. So we're going to have over here, y'all are going to be Cord 44. Welcome to the Empire. And, oh, I can't rename it until you've annexed. We're going to wait one more turn. Yeah, no, it's, I totally understand why you would denounce me. I don't blame you whatsoever. Uh, oh. The growth changed a little bit. We're still one turn away from our, our thingy. Well, that's okay. Um, I'm going to get you to start an amphitheater. And then we'll override you in a second for none of them. Da, 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 da. Okay, so I can now annex you, and I'm going to encourage you to work on a courthouse. Um, default focus is going to be fine, and I'm going to rename you to Blame the Alien. Boom. Right, those convert to all caps. I have to remember that. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. You can you can do it. You can do it with a vassal, but you've got to. There's a... I don't know. Maybe that you can, you can't. I don't remember if there's a funky control or something like that. Um, I, since we've got all these new cities, should go and de-automate all of my workers. And take a moment to consider exactly what I might want to do with them. Um, well, building roads pretty legit. Do that. Okay, physics is done. <sighs> education or military right away? I think the correct answer is education. And then we pick up machinery for the crossbow, hopefully get the iron works up at that point. Um, and we might then actually beeline towards chemistry for some cannons and then finish off London with cannons. And I think that might be the case. Okay, TV Daredevil. Switch over to another them. We need a total of 600 hammers. You're going to produce... Oh, 600.
mad. What the hell? What the fuck? <laughs> wow. This fucking game, though. We're gonna burn it all down. We're gonna burn it all down. Barracks. I, I, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm not talking. Great scientist! So in hindsight, it would have almost been better if we had gone straight for physics, um, delayed theology, so we wouldn't have had the great engineer to waste, apparently. Yeah, so we, uh, I mean, we're not going to light bulb anything, clearly, here. We're going to go and improve things. I can only imagine what the tip's going to be here. Uh, oh, we got a couple. You got, uh, Bodums, or B.O. Dams, uh, who sent in a tip and just said, Petra, question mark? And then, uh, the Blood Elf Knight, uh, sent in a tip to say, Rip Quill. Aren't I player one? Shouldn't I have, like, the first crack at building, like, the wonders? I don't know. Um, we are going to go and, uh, and mine this. Because it's on a hill, and that's fine. I mean, yeah, jungles are good for the universities and stuff, but I think that's going to be okay. <clears throat> um, that is a lot of jungle. We can actually have fresh water from the lake as well. We may not need to clear all of it. I'm okay with clearing this for the production, though. <laughs> is that part five, six new? I think it, they're set to be daily. I'm pretty sure. So, soon? I, do we need, do we want to keep the uh, jungle or not? It's an excellent question and one I don't really have an answer for. I guess we'll go and set up a camp over here. <clears throat> Alright, they've got some kniggets. Um, here's a question. When are we going to enter the Renaissance era? Not very quickly. 14 turns to the next policy. We'd like to time things. Okay, so there's no way that the next policy will be in the Renaissance era. We might have been able to do it, but we're not going to do it, so that's okay. But we want to make sure the one after that is in a Renaissance era so that we can unlock rationalism. So I'm totally okay with picking up organized religion here. I think it's going to be swell. So that's what's going to happen. Um, so we, we have to be a little cognizant of, of how we unlock things. I'm just wondering about afterwards. I think it's probably going to be okay to go education, pick up the machinery, and then probably go to chemistry, which is really powerful in general. So we'll be unlocking um, Renaissance here. We'll have to double check the timers. <clears throat> we might want to... Um, we might decide to go like straight steel to gunpowder. To unlock Renaissance a little sooner and then backfill machinery. Um, although I prefer to have it just because of the ironworks and the crossbows. But it's not that critical. Like, we might want to plan on something more like that. We might not even need the crossbows, but you know, we have a lot of bowmen and it would be good to upgrade them. Like, we could go straight to just cannons, but I think that would be a little silly. Uh, let's get uh, another cargo ship up and running.
What? Oh, you'll pay for this. Stop pushing around Hong Kong. They stopped you cold last time. Clearly he still has like a huge military score because he's able to go and harass people. You actually could use Lighthouse. That would be a pretty good improvement. And we are losing some cash. We're also slightly unhappy. Let's get a Coliseum. If we can get the... Um, the what you call it. Up. That would be swell. I don't suppose I can just purchase a courthouse over here, could I? I think that's probably a good idea. It's going to take long to build otherwise. We are losing a lot of money. <clears throat> but we can fix that very soon. I'm sure. Maybe. Could switch a couple of things over to gold focused or... Uh, once we get guilds, we can put down our trading post on the jungle here, and that would be very nice. Can't believe we didn't get goddamn nothing of them! Oh my god! It's like secondary rage wave! I'm so mad! <laughs> oh! oh! I think we need extra workers, actually. We did, More cargo boats and all those things would be good, but we actually, we have grown a bit. Uh, Coliseum, we, we, I would really like to build that National Wonder. Um, yeah, that's good money. There you go. Fix our money problems. I'm so mad. I'm sure it's important for game balance that you can't just, like, actually insta-finish it by using a great person, but it feels like you should. Because it's like, if you invest a great person like that, it should insta-finish. In Civ 5, the, the uh, player goes last. Oh. I thought the player went first, but I guess clearly not. Um, I know in, in NQ mod, there's an option to turn on a randomizer for that. In at least multiplayer, and maybe it would be good for this. Alright, let's get some universities up and running. Um, <clears throat> I think we end up, like, just literally farming all the tiles here. Uh, that's actually out of range. Raise every city from now on. <laughs> At least you got some gold back. Wah, wah. Alright, that's done. Good. Uh, so five turns there. I just don't know how long the next policy will take, because... Like, I don't know what the total is. You can do the math, because it goes up by a certain amount, but pff, math. One, two, three. You could eventually fork this fish, which is nice. And that sugar would also be handy dandy. <clears throat> uh, we should take a look at the... Uh, what am I... Demographics. <clears throat> Number one on land, gross national pollock crop uh, yield as well, which is quite nice. Uh, literacy third overall, not too shabby, although someone really is running away with the score. There's probably like a Babylon or a Kree in this game. They're just going to win because I'm a million miles away from them. Uh, soldiers, seventh overall, and indeed the Zulus have number one. So we might need to build up a little bit there. <clears throat> we'll need some walls and blame the alien. That's actually... I actually might critically need that, like now or yesterday it's entirely possible now still have Hong Kong as an ally good and they will be for a while has our religion spread anywhere okay even London's got some pretty impressive stuff going on no our religion is like being quite slow we need to get oh um faith purchases let's get one missionary here to get that going um yeah because missionaries are cheap right now let's get that accelerated a bit uh, we... Uh, I need military units, but I also need universities everywhere. Wait, okay, universities. Go. Why do you have a horse in the water? <clears throat> oh! Uh, he's set on auto-explore. Alright, one missionary. Uh, uh, uh. And then, go and dig, make gurdwadas. <clears throat> Um, temple, probably keep up the happiness, actually. Uh, 
Uh, there's a plantation. There's a tra why, why would you build a trading post there? Come on, we're gonna replace that with a freaking forest or farm. Universities help uh, help science, which helps us get nukes quicker. I can't argue with that logic. Well said. I'm actually gonna farm one more there. All right, so we're gonna get the religion spread out to at least there. Could even push it to the front lines, but <clears throat> let's see what we can do. We got a spy, because someone else entered the Renaissance era. Need new automatic faith collect, uh, thing? Not yet, we don't. You do need a lighthouse. <clears throat> so we're going to take organized religion. We don't need... Ah, uh, hold on. Okay, apparently Enkumod does some pretty freaking crazy stuff with piety. I mean, we have to take this, right? Plus one faith and culture. Very good. <clears throat> kind of wish we'd build the Grand Temple. Yeah, hello. I agree, Kane. Hello. What? This is not in vanilla, right? But piety kind of sucks in vanilla, so now all of a sudden it don't. Yeah, we gotta go for the plus two science from each temple. Now we're getting we're getting science from shrines because well our pyramids. Now we'll get it from uh, yeah piety was stupid and vanilla. Yeah, I think we do this. <clears throat> now we are forty four turns away from next policy. Okay. <clears throat> you know what? I actually will still go for musket men first. We're gonna get renaissance a little sooner than we strictly need to, uh, just because upgrading the swordsmen to muskets. Uh, might keep us alive a heck of a lot longer. We don't need any resources for it or anything like that because there's no niter in this game. Um, and with uh, the Zulus being so threatening, I think that's going to be an excellent idea. Oh, we actually expanded to the sugar. Excellent. Uh, you'll be able to build Gurdwadas again soon, won't you? Did you actually not? There's more religion pressure for the other thing. Okay. Wow, that's annoying. We might need to start doing Inquisitor stuff, but not yet. Okay, so, Spy. Um, we don't know who's ahead in tech. We know that England has at least one tech we don't have. Um, what about everyone else? So, who would give us the most science? Zulus for some. I don't... Th that spying on Zulus might work out. Most and Connie would be another. It's all kind of the same. Uh, even London's got, like, some techs we don't have. So, they have three techs we don't have, but we have five they don't. They're probably going to be older techs. I'm going to be tempted to go probably on the Zulus, actually. So, sort by probably pop, um, and, uh, wh hold on, what's their actual, that's not their capital, Lundy's their capital, so probably we want to spy there, because the actual tech amount that you get is based on their science output, and the capital's usually got the best. So we're going to do that. <clears throat> yeah, you're going to build, actually, you know what you might do? is end up building a fort. Although, maybe I'll build a fort there. It's not in my territory. Never mind. Can you build forts outside of your territory? No. So I'm just going to farm this. Although, we might be going a little crazy with the food here. <clears throat> Probably get the Writer's Guild in place. Um, if we're looking at a ground trader, I gotta build more of these. Ground trader out the most financially best one would be blame the alien to London. Um, I mean, we are gonna declare war on them at some point, but or T TV Daredevil to London would spread the science. And I don't think we've got anything like that going on, or the science, the religion. So, you know what? Keep doing that. And you are going to convert over some more people. Six citizens. Making it the majority religion, finally. There we go. <clears throat> finally have a second religious city.
Yeah, I'll have to build more trade stuff so I can do more of that. Uh, get another Gurwara down. You're working on your courthouse, you're working on your Colosseum. London is very scary with its longbow. Absolutely, you're right. And I need to be cognizant of that. Um, a money situation is not great. It'd be great to build a market plus a mint in this town. Although, I think we've got to keep, like, getting the universities up. What kind of science do you actually produce? 19. Yeah, that'd be pretty substantial. We need, we need to get the universities up. We are researching some military tech. We're going to have some money for upgrades. Not a tremendous amount. Shaka is plotting against me. I'm betting that's going to be a permanent notification. Um, get me another cargo ship here, and then we'll work on some other stuff. Still have Hong Kong as an ally. They've got a lot of troops. Not necessarily the latest and greatest. Although they have crossbows and I don't. So who am I to talk? Um, they might be moving forward here. I'm going to move back with this unit. In particular, I want to move into friendly territory so that I can get an upgrade. Uh, let's move to there, because it might be moderately safer. You might be trying something, especially since Cord doesn't have walls. No, she darted back. <clears throat> okay, Gordwara got built. I suspect we can't do another one now. Kamenji Castle might not be the worst thing, but I don't think it's critical. Some money, some happy, some universities coming up. <clears throat> Fair number of troops here. Oh no! Antonin and Banana Revo. Yeah, there we go. New faith. Um, we might want to save for more buildings, but I actually think the missionaries should... I mean, they're a little pricier, but I think we still build buy a few more missionaries now, because it's still early enough that I think it's decent. We'll see if we can push the religion down somewhere over here and get some more spread going on. I'm surprised this city hasn't flipped yet, <clears throat> but we're not generating that much actual pressure. We haven't actually had the religion that long. They popped at the beginning of this episode, so... Um, oh, yeah, there it is. Sure, yeah, university it up, man. We don't really need more cities, especially not more core cities. I mean, more, um... I'll pay for this. I don't actually want you to declare war, but I need to keep the, um... the relationship with Hong Kong here. Caravan Street wouldn't be bad, because we are launching some land routes from here, but... Um... <clears throat> Armory. Okay, that farm got done. That's good. This is already built. That's good. This is within our borders. Um, a hammer trade route. That wouldn't be bad, actually, since our, our we're unhappy right now. So I'm wondering about a hand, hammer trans route, um, um, trade route to Grandpa Fratest over here. To get it to finish its university faster and then maybe pump out some units. Alternatively, I could get it, get the trade route to come out of Blame the Alien, but where would it go? Nowhere really. I think I kind of like the production thing here. We could also, like, the production in um, Glynn over here is particularly bad. But I think it makes sense to get it a little closer to the front. Farm's done good. Come up here, help farm stuff while we still wait for our trade post. Um, I don't think we need to do anything right here. Cause oh, this is a long river, so no, I'm gonna farm that. 